welcome to my channel or welcome back thank you for joining me for this shopping vlog from vienna designer outlet so i just arrived here it's like 40 50 minutes uh, from vienna center by train then you have to take a bath uh, to get here uh, once you figure it out it's actually pretty easy but uh, it can be confusing dealing with those you know uh, trains uh, from vienna center they have actually super luxury service that you can actually get a limo here and it will take you from any hotel and you get some uh, vouchers for lunch and for some you get actually quite a few goodies for that but i think it makes sense if you come here with friends like for one person it costs 200 euros so um it doesn't make sense for me i arrived here like a few minutes ago i had a walk to the guest services and now i'm going to have a look into gucci and prada that's my main interest of course it's uh, super cold super freezing and i have noticed already that the village is huge uh, so anyway it's freezing my hands are like super cold so uh, let's get into some luxury shop shall we let's try to find where are the luxury shops uh, here we have some armani i usually like to walk into some brands which i am not maybe super interested in but just to have a look i can see here a lot of shoes a lot of sneakers quite uh, classic styles a lot of clothes as usual and i found that this jacket this winter puffer coat was actually in a very good price but i like those trousers as well but not for my body shape probably so let's move on to Barbary and I'm always on a hunt for a beautiful Barbary trench did love this one it was a woolen one and it looked beautiful the cut was fantastic as probably normal and usual for Barbary unfortunately because it's the woolen I could see a white fluff catching on it everywhere and I figured that it will be hell to maintain it this one though I loved it but it was not my size and I didn't get one and maybe I possibly regret it. It looked really good when I kept it open like this. Moving on, I always stop at Moschino. I like their fashion pieces, like the clothing. For example, this is a rather classic style of uh, coat, but it has this bold metallic details. And for example, this dress, how classy but bougie at the same time. Another thing, like, look at this, so, so cute and beautiful. Actually, I don't remember why I didn't try it. Probably didn't have my size. And some more sweaters. They are, like, so, so cute. Um, swimsuits, anyone? Moschino fashion is so fun. However, the bags, I'm not the biggest fan. I have one, but that's enough. Next up, I stopped at Coach. And I did like this Snoopy because I am obsessed about Snoopy. However, not maybe on bags. But this one definitely caught my attention. I found it very different to other bags that I have seen. Finally, I made to one of the shops that I was actually aiming for, which is Gucci. As usual, stroll around and I'm noticing that Gucci has a huge amount of things which are special priced, which is the regular boutique price. So like, I think they're kind of extending it out with uh, their boutiques, if it makes sense. This collection is also like kind of regular in outlets. I've seen it for like uh, last year everywhere. And of course, I could not pass uh, next to scarves and not have a look at them. You probably know by now that I am scarf obsessed and addict. And uh, if there is nothing to buy, I will buy a scarf. And to be very honest with you, it's worth to have a look on Gucci scarves in outlets because they have quite a lot of selection. Oh, hello. Do you see what I see? A Gucci marmot in red velvet. Another funny shelf of a Gucci outlet, which is special price, full price. We have this horse bit uh, bags, which I actually do love, and I love this color. However, they didn't have a mini version of this color. This is like a Tiffany blue. I am so obsessed about this color and this bag in this color. However, I would really like the mini size. Like the mini, it looks much more, I don't know, proportional for me. Like I just love the mini size and I wish I could find one. Moving on and searching for some other nice bags. This Sildi bag in navy such a beautiful style i think they discontinued this bag in the boutiques but i still love it it's such a beautiful classic bag however the leather on it gives me anxiety here we have another amazing find from the gucci outlet it was a rose gold gucci dianosis in the mini size was so beautiful that even though i kind of uh, hate dionysus style but uh, i was tempted by this and here we have the biggest shock of 2022 because yes actually this vlog was recorded end of 2022 nevertheless like how crazy is that i could find multicolor collection still there and actually find several pieces of it including gucci super minis in pink and blue and they had more than one available and they even had the green they had this camera marmot camera bag but have a look at this like it was not the quality i would expect 
it looks some kind too bubbly like that material is not really proper I didn't like the look of it I think it was really lower quality than it's supposed to be in a boutique and I just have the theory that they have just uh, made more afterwards like that collection dropped in 21 beginning of 2021 and we have end of 2022 and they keep having them in outlets and it was supposed to be so super popular like look at this i mean there is something wrong with this bag but i didn't feel like this about the minis the minis look actually sharp and clean like the you know the shape and the cut and the stitching you know what i mean uh, i also had a look on those uh, clutch or something like you know document cases i was thinking about one of them for like inside my bag like you know this kind of uh, pouch they looked very juicy especially both together so it was really a hard time for me to decide but then to cool down i walk around the ready to wear if you are up for buying clothing from gucci you can find really amazing deals in outlets Normally the prices are, I don't know, 40-50% off, but sometimes they have like this uh, clearance which you can get really amazing deals. I did like this neat uh, dough and it was a top and also a skirt. You can pause and see the prices. I try to catch them. It's not always possible to show all the prices because of course the staff will come after me and uh, yeah, ask if I need help. Uh, so not always can do that, but I try to do my best. And of course a big sneaker selection. However, I don't think they were quite nice. And now we are moving to Prada. I walked quickly to Prada, uh, saw these crystal shoes, but even the crystals on them didn't convince me to buy. And some other shoes. You can find good deals on shoes and sneakers in Prada as well. One of the sneakers, like this one, I'm eyeing them for a while now. And I actually see that the price of them increased in an outlet. Which is, by the way, quite surprising that the price in an outlet is increasing if this is an old collection that's supposed to be just, you know, sold. Anyway, the special prices section in Prada is actually a good one. Not like in Gucci, the special prices mean full price. In uh, Prada, actually, it's a, like a second discount. So you might find a very good deal on the special price uh, shelf. Like this uh, mini uh, bag in sequins, obviously, because I love everything which is shiny. And had a stroll around other things. Uh, I saw some bowling bag. I like that uh, pink camera bag style. Uh, again, I am a big fan of camera bags, so why not? There's some more blink blink. And for those of you who might love a fairy bag, there was also something in store. I actually quite like this. Uh, can't remember the price, I'm really sorry. And here is, I would call, a classic range of nylon bags from an outlet. And the bag that I'm eyeing and thinking about, and possibly maybe I have already bought it, we will see. And the last stop, actually the one that I didn't intend to go in, but I got curious, I want to see what's in, is Valentino. And I actually saw quite a few nice bags, like for example this one, it's a very classic, nice shape. And there were other bags which I did like, however there is something about Valentino which is talked down the brand, like it's not worth it, it's not worth it, it's overpriced. That actually got into my brain that somehow even though I like Valentino bags, I kind of have some weird resistance to buy them. Do you also have that? Are you like thinking that Valentino is not worth the price? This is the price of this bucket bag, which I actually like since it came out. Here we have some other bucket bags, which reminded me the dupes that I have seen in Rome. Uh, so this is very similar and I'm not saying that you should buy this, but it was not a fake. It was just a dupe from like a local um, artisan, so called. And some beautiful shoes. Oh my God, they are stunning. 950 euro and this one were 400, more affordable, quite actually okay. The clothing was also beautiful. Uh, not that cheap in my opinion though. And this will be end of the vlog. I went, had food, contemplated what I want to buy from Gucci. And that was end of the day. I had to rush and find my way back. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye.